Acts 11.23 When he arrived and saw what the grace of God had done, he was glad and encouraged them all to remain true to the Lord with all their hearts. In Acts 11.23, he the person being referred to as Barnabas, Paul and Barnabas had a significant and complex relationship in the early Christian church. They initially worked closely together on missionary journeys, spreading the gospel and establishing churches in various regions. Barnabas played a crucial role in supporting Paul, especially at the beginning of his ministry when he was still gaining acceptance among the early Christian communities. However, their relationship hit a rough patch when they had a disagreement over whether to take John Mark, Barnabas's cousin, on a subsequent missionary journey. Barnabas wanted to give John Mark another chance, but Paul disagreed. This dispute led to Paul and Barnabas parting ways, with Barnabas taking John Mark and sailing to Cyprus, while Paul chose Silas as his companion for the missionary journey. Despite their disagreement and separation, both Paul and Barnabas continued their respective ministries, and they are both remembered for their significant contributions to the early church. Their relationship highlights both the highs of partnership and the challenges that can arise in ministry. Barnabas may not be as widely discussed, but his impact on advancing the kingdom of God was profound. Through the evident transformation in his life, others witnessed the remarkable work of God's grace within him. His life bore witness to the change brought about by God, visibly demonstrating the difference faith and grace can make. The Holy Spirit serves as the ultimate encourager. To embody the spirit of encouragement, one must welcome the encourager into their being, akin to how Barnabas did. Through the Spirit's guidance, he surrendered to God's direction effortlessly. Our innate desire for self-promotion often overshadows our ability to uplift others, necessitating a transformation only achievable through the Spirit. When we empower and inspire those around us, it signifies God's divine work within us. Barnabas's exemplary qualities, his goodness, generosity, grace, and piety, stem not from upbringing, education, or lineage, but from his profound connection with the Holy Spirit. This same spirit present in Barnabas is bestowed upon every believer in Christ. Upon our rebirth, we receive the Holy Spirit, and by humbly confessing our faults and following His guidance, we remain filled with His presence. God desires every Christian to be imbued with the encourager to become beacons of support, echoing Barnabas' legacy. By glorifying God through our lives, we can breathe life into His divine purpose. Just as Barnabas did, let's pray, Father. We humbly come before you in the precious name of Jesus. We thank you for your presence among us. At times we feel the pressure to be at the forefront, like the twelve disciples, pastors, preachers, or missionaries. Yet we are reminded of the vital role of being a Barnabas, working behind the scenes. Those who operate in the background play an equally significant part as those in the spotlight. Lord, help us to have a meaningful impact on those we encounter daily. Just as others could see the grace of God manifest in Barnabas' life, may our lives radiate that same grace and light. May each person reading this today exhibit the transformative power of your love. Guide us to be living examples of your work in our lives, serving as beacons for others. Grant us the wisdom to not only act, but also to speak words of encouragement, directing others towards you. We dedicate this time to you, seeking your guidance and empowerment in all we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.